I just saw one of the most vicious plays. By the way, thank you for tuning in to BDF 44. So I'm, I'm, I'm reacting to this because of two things. One, because it's the New Orleans Pelicans and we really need them to lose. <laughs> Right, the Lakers, Laker fan, and two because this is probably my favorite rookie in the entire class. I don't know if I, I think it is. I'm a huge Evan Mobley and Scotty Barnes fan. Giddy's turned into one of my favorite players in this draft. They, the, the whole draft class is is really good, but I think for me, the pick that I had originally, my very favorite player in this draft from originally was Trey Murphy who just had a two-hand slam at the buzzer of the third quarter uh, off an offensive rebound where he completely snatched the ball out of the sky over Zach Levine and then just hammered it home precisely at the buzzer over two bulls. I'm telling you, and, and I want everybody to, to venture back into the archives of my videos to last summer when I first started talking about Trey Murphy. This kid is going to be a very serious serious problem <clears throat> i understand that you know he's lost on the back of that bench he's a rookie they didn't give him the minutes to start the season that i was hopeful he would get um i felt like if he were given those minutes and was given a real serious role i think he might be one of the top five rookies of the class uh in terms of production but I think when it's all said and done, he, he is going to be one of the top players uh, from this draft class. I, I don't have any questions, doubts, or concerns about Trey Murphy. I think he's going to be a superstar. I really do. His three-point shot is uh, one of the greatest I've seen, like simply one of the greatest I've seen. And when I did a little studying on this kid when I was you know, kind of going through that draft class early on, I realized that, you know, in, in listening to him speak and, and, and watching various videos from his from his old days, uh, that that his upside is is ridiculous, that his draft stock was absurd uh, in terms of where he was, you know, supposed to be drafted, where he was ultimately drafted, how he was uh, considered in terms of the draft class and where he landed. I just thought it was ridiculous. It, he should have been much higher. Uh, for what it is that he, he had shown. And, uh, you know, he's just a scoring monster. He has length. He has handle. Uh, he has defensive prowess. He's extremely smart. And uh, he, as we can see in tonight's game, he has absolutely no problem dunking on people. He has absolutely no problem getting to the rim. And as he continues to get stronger, I think he's going to be a problem. And I've said this, and this is not going to be popular, but I'm saying it now. I think he's going to be as good as Brandon Ingram. And I think he has a chance to be better than Brandon Ingram. I really do. I, I think Brandon has a lot of natural abilities, a better ISO player at this stage, obviously. But I think he's a greater natural shooter than B.I. ever will be. I think, and B.I. is a good shooter. But but this Trey Murphy kid is, is special. Very, very special shooter. Um, I see Klay Thompson in his game. I see a little Dirk in this game. I see, like, all the great shooters. He's one of those. I think he has a chance to be one of the great shooters in the league. And you couple that with his intangibles, you couple that with his length, you couple that with his IQ, um, and, and, and his ability to to just continue to to be patient with the role that he's given early on tells me that whatever role he grows into, he'll be able to take on easily. Um, it, this is going to be a very, very, very good player. And I just feel like the, the Pelicans just need to like let the team that they have hatch. This has been my thing. And, and I'll say this, and I know Zion is going to go in one ear and out the other, but I really do think Zion, if he's, if his mindset is to go to the Knicks, he's in a better situation right now um, because they have a lot of good talent on this Pelican team, and I know things are looking bleak right now. I know it's not going well, whatever. He has his mind made up. All of that is fine, but I just feel like they have a lot of assets coming their way. They have a lot of good players on their team, and I think that much of some of those players, including Trey Murphy, uh, the Alvarado kid now looks like he's going to be special. It's just a lot of good on that team, and I, and I feel like uh, I think Zion's mind's made up, and I think it's a mistake. I think having his mind made up about New Orleans, about what they're doing, about how he's going to feel ultimately uh, when this team gets better is a mistake. I think that, that he already has pieces around him that fit. 
who he is going to be and fit his timeline going forward. And I think if he stays on this team, Trey Murphy turns into what I think he's going to turn into. Uh, Kira, I think his name is Kira. They never use him. Ah, my mind's gone blank. But Kira is his first name. If that young point guard can develop into who I think he can be, of whom they ain't developing him properly, by the way. He should be starting by now. He should be. We should know that he's one of the fastest players in the league. That's not something that's common knowledge. It should be. They haven't done right by him, and I get it. That's that's part of probably what Zion's looking at. It's like they haven't done the greatest with with all that they've been receiving. They did give away some really talented players over the last 12 months, uh, letting Ball walk, Hart now playing better in Portland, um, let, letting the Alexander kid go. I just I don't I guess they didn't plan on play, paying those dudes or whatever. So I get it. I can understand that David Griffin's moves as of late have been a little questionable. But you look at that that Murphy kid, you see where he's headed, and you look at Zion, you look at B.I. Those three pieces make me think twice about leaving. Uh, I think those three players together, look up two, three years from now, they could be on the best team in the league if you keep them together. That's how much I think of Trey Murphy. He's going to be that good. And so uh, that's just what I want to put out there. Uh, that highlight is crazy. You guys go check that out. I, and I think it did count. I, they did officially say it counted, and uh, – it's, it's going to be one of the posters of the season for sure. So everybody be on lookout, man. Trey Murphy, too bad he didn't fall to my Lakers. It would have been a dream come, to, come true if we could have had this prospect on this roster, especially since he came at a discount um, draft in the later uh, half of the set of the first round. So totally mismanaged draft stock. And, and when he turns into what it is, I'm telling you he's going to turn into. Just know that you heard it here. BDF 44, I thank you all for watching. I'm out.